For decades, religious persecution against Christians has been on the rise worldwide. According to recent statistics, no fewer than 5,621 Christians were killed for their faith in 2022, an increase of 80% over the past five years, and more than 312 million Christians worldwide suffered very high or extreme levels of persecution, an increase of 20 million in just one year. For more than 30 years, Nina Shea, Senior Fellow and Director of the Center for Religious Freedom at the Hudson Institute, has fought for the rights of these Christians and other persecuted religious minorities around the world. She has advocated for the persecuted and brought awareness to their plight through diplomatic measures, congressional testimony, public lectures, and more. In addition to countless national media appearances, Nina has authored or co-authored numerous books, reports, and countless articles bringing awareness to religious persecution. Her ceaseless work has shown the light of truth on atrocities perpetrated throughout the Middle East, Latin America, Africa, and Asia, and brought special attention to Nigerian survivors of Boko Haram attacks, Christian converts imprisoned in Iran, Coptic bishops from Egypt, Catholic bishops from China and the Gulf, and many more. Just as Paul invoked his Roman citizenship to demand a trial in Caesar's courts, we can use our citizenship, we can demand that our political leaders um, start speaking up. In 1986, Nina founded the Puebla Institute, which later became the Freedom House Center for Religious Freedom, where she served as director for 10 years. In 1998, she was a leading voice building support for the International Religious Freedom Act. Seven times from 1999 to 2012, she was appointed by the U.S. House of Representatives to serve on the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. She has been appointed to serve as a member of the U.S. National Commission to UNESCO and as a U.S. Delegate to the United Nations Commission on Human Rights. In 2011, as a result of four seminal reports she authored on the Saudi education system's efforts to promulgate hatred and violence against religious others, she traveled to Saudi Arabia to present her findings to the ministers of education, justice, and Islamic affairs. Three years later, in 2014, she initiated and led a coalition of hundreds of prominent religious leaders to issue the Pledge of Solidarity for Persecuted Iraqi, Syrian, and Egyptian Christians and other minorities. And yet all of these achievements and accolades cannot begin to measure the impact that Nina Shea's tireless work has had and will have on the lives of millions of persecuted faithful around the world. American founders who had broken with an old order that was rife with religious persecution and warfare prophetically forbade laws impeding free exercise of religion, abridging freedom of speech, or infringing freedom of the press. We today must do likewise. In recognition of her outstanding leadership and advocacy of religious liberty and the dignity of human life, with the 2023 Benedict Leadership Award, the Benedict Leadership Institute is proud to honor Nina Shea.